Hey guys. It's John. And Mary. And last week's episode was so amazing with Adrian. You guys have sent us so many amazing questions. And today we're going to try to answer some of those. So you ready? I am ready, man. And maybe we'll even add a couple little behind the scenes uh, stories and some details that weren't shown in the episode. Yeah, for sure. It was a great episode. We know you guys enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a whole bunch. So hopefully you guys will... Uh, Continue to watch and send in more questions. So if we don't answer any of your questions this time around, keep sending them in in the comments and we'll make sure we get to them next time. All right, here goes the first question. Oh, this is this one's for me. How do I decide which color to paint the front door? Well, I actually drove around the neighborhood and saw what other people were painting for their house. Also, the color of the brick, of the exterior mm -hmm. brick, really played um, a huge role in that. Also, I had already created a color scheme for the inside of the house, so I just kind of wanted it all to, to flow together. To match, yeah. yeah. So, that's that. Very good. Yeah. What's up next? All right. Uh, here's one. Say, I love the idea of framing the mirror, putting that frame around the mirror. Yeah. So, what inspired that? Well, I mean, you know, we live in an older house, so we have really, really big mirrors, and like mm -hmm. all big mirrors, they kind of get scraggly at the bottom sometimes and so an easy fix and a way to really make that uh, mirror kind of stand out is just to put a frame around it and then paint it whatever color you want so that's kind of what we did in that house and kind of had that weird you know that gray messed up part at the bottom so we covered it up with an easy frame we used silicone to stick it to the mirror and then we held use tape to uh, hold it up and hold it in place until it dried so pretty easy fix and it makes it, the mirror look 10 times better yeah, and for those of us who don't like messing with like power tools or saws, you can actually measure out your mirror and then go to your big box store and have them pre-cut it for you right there at the store. Throw some glue on that bad boy, stick it up there, and add the tape like John said, and boom, you have a almost like your own custom framed mirror. And we've done it both ways where we've painted it, like in Adrian's uh, main bedroom. Yep. And then in her second house, we did it again in the girls' bathroom and we kept it completely natural wood. And so either way that works for you, go for it. Very cool. Awesome. The next one is, was the addition of raw wood shelves in the kitchen purely for looks since she already had enough storage? Yeah, we've, we've heard a lot of feedback about the shelves versus the upper cabinets, but... You know, we gave that choice to Adrian. It's like, do you want to display all of your pretty dishes or do you want the more, you know, stored so you can just, you know, store more things? Yeah. I, kind of, I mean, in the end, that was Adrian's decision. And we think she made the right decision. She had so much more storage in this in this house that it wasn't going to be necessary for her to continue to have more storage. Yeah. So she really liked the way it looked more than the, the functionality of it. Mm -hmm. And so it looked overall it ended up looking fantastic and she was super happy with it. And in the end... We renovate for our clients, and that's she right. loved it, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I mean, it's definitely an aesthetics thing, but, you know, if, you, if you're if you someone like an Adrian who has, like, pretty dishes and things to display, you know, it could be one day she takes all her dishes down, and she can have, like, an open house, and maybe she's displaying all of her, you know, her baking goods. So we have to think about it in that aspect that, you know, we are doing this for our clients and not necessarily for us. So the fact that we, you know, we went back and we asked Adrian like what she wanted, and that's that was her choice. So there it is. <laughs> yeah, one person asked about the uh, the pine as well, about using pine versus hardwood, and because those shelves were so short, it doesn't really matter. You know, in the end, we had used pine throughout the house, so we kept that going. Yeah. Um. So it doesn't really have to be. You know, if we're getting to longer shelves, then yes, you definitely want to be worried about things like is are you using hard, a harder wood or something like that but in the end it worked out she was super happy yeah and, uh, and it looked fantastic it looked fantastic it was uh paired with the uh the rope and it was reinforced and it was super sturdy and super safe yeah yeah those the the uh, place that gave us the uh the um the shelves the l brackets custom made for that space which was really cool so Again, she was really happy. I thought it looked fantastic. Mary did a great job of designing it, so it was a win all the way around. Boom. <laughs> all right, so what is your favorite budget kitchen update? Uh, for me, as far as updating the kitchen, it just depends. Like, So if this is the house that you're wanting to sell, I would say my as far as a budget goes, 
hardware is the best thing that you can do as far as making your money stretch and doing something that really makes your kitchen pop. You know, it, it, it doesn't require you having to paint your cabinets. It's just something else that just makes it stand out and makes it feel new and fresh. Um, but if you were doing a, an update, a bigger update, I would definitely say either a backsplash or countertops. But I would go with backsplash just because then if you have countertops, you wouldn't have to rip those countertops out. So if you're selling your house, my advice would be to just add in some hardware, do something that makes your house, your, your kitchen pop. And then if it's a, if a house that you're currently living in and you already have hardware or have already painted your cabinets, then I would say really do a, a really cool backsplash. How do you decide what kind of tile to use? Um, I would say that really just depends on what, what the style is, what the budget is. Budget is very, very important. And depending on what my colors are, it really is whatever I feel like using at that moment. And, you know, if it's a house that we're selling, what are the comps? Um, you know, you definitely don't want to do something that's too busy. How much space am I working with? So there are a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, factors. There are a lot of factors that go into deciding what kind of tile to use. And also mainly what is the client looking for? So that's how that goes. Yeah. In the end, Mary really designs by feel. So, you know, same thing for you guys. If you if you like something, you should go with it. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you don't like it, don't use it. That's there the it bottom is. line. There it um, is. Whether you're selling or, or, you know, buying, just do what feels natural to you. Um, Pinterest is a great place where you can go out and get a lot of bunch of a bunch of ideas, or you can watch the show and see Mary do whatever she does, and then you can do that too. There it is. All right, and oh, you guys wanted to know what kind of sink was that uh, apron sink in the Step Two house, and so that was a titanium apron front sink, and we actually got that from our friends at uh, Alfie Trade. So you guys go out, you hear our children in the tub. This is real life, people. Our children in the tub, and they don't care that we're doing this. They do not care. That's it. But we're wanting to answer you guys' questions, so we only have a limited amount of time before you see uh, children running. Why do you think the railing was so short to begin with? So um, a lot of times the houses back, you know, when houses are built in the 80s, the codes were just different. And that's just the bottom line. So how high a stair rail needed to be, how much space in between each baluster, all those things were just different at the time. So, you know, we had an opportunity because those stair rails didn't look great. We had a fantastic opportunity to upgrade them and put in a much cleaner and sleeker looking stair rail. And John did those rails all by himself, materials from stair warehouse, mm. but you put in... You touched every piece on that. Cut, touched, sanded, stained. Yeah. All of it. That's and awesome. And it was a tedious task. So <laughs> I would not recommend it if it was your first time. But uh, luckily I had enough not knowledge just to kind of make it make it work. And so they came out beautifully. Um, and I'm super happy. And, you know, it was a great product. And, and Adrian really loved it. So... It's all that matters. That's all, again, man. It's, it's all about our clients. Make sure it's the clients are happy. Clients. Where do you find the artwork in the living room? Yes, someone asked that recently. So all of the staging materials come from Elizabeth Cole here in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, you can go into their showroom. They have uh, all kinds of beautiful pieces, and they also special order, too. So if there's something in their showroom that you're like, oh, I had something in mind, specifically in mind, they can actually uh, special order as well. So that's where you will see this entire season, all of the furniture that uh, you'll see in each episode of Two Steps Home uh, comes from Elizabeth Cole. So that's it. Those are all the questions. We thank you guys so much. If there's a question here that uh, you didn't... Uh, you, you, if there's a there, question that you didn't get or you didn't hear or you wanted to have another question, by all means, drop it in the comments, email us, you know, DM us, whatever it takes. We definitely want to make sure we're giving you guys all the information we can. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, look forward to more episodes. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. I think they'll even be running the, see the episode before at 7. So y'all look out for that and uh, we'll see you around soon. Yes, two steps home. Here we go. Every Wednesday night. Two, uh, steps, two steps home, home. man. That's right. From Harper, from Harper Rain. From Harper, from Harper Rain. Bye. Always. Bye. Bye. Hopefully, you don't hear our children in the background because they're in the tub. <laughs>
All right, here's the next question. So funny. <laughs> Look at your mind. My, my pajamas. <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, how do you decide which time, what? I, I can't read today. Okay. Well, I mean, that house was built a long time ago, and so. <laughs> <laughs> Go get back to the tub. Very okay, good, baby. That's very is. important. There it is. All um, right. Well, take care of yourself. We'll, we'll, we'll be almost done, okay? All right, baby. Give us a second, okay? Love you. Bye. Good life. All right. Client. Okay. You client take a client. Is is you putting on lotion and putting on your clothes. Uh, clothes. There it is. I'm putting on lotion. Okay. Yeah, one, yeah, more yeah, one more question. We have one more question. The question is, just say one more. It's, def it's definitely not take for you. Yes. Put it in there somewhere. This is funny. 